Hey ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. As always, it is Nick here, back to your daily crypto news and analysis. And today we are actually going to be talking about the Graph Protocol. So this is one of those projects that I am very, very excited about because this has been one of those projects that I've been following since going all the way back to 2021. In fact, this was actually one of my biggest winners during 2021 profitable wise. And uh, as we do look at what Graph has done since then, it's very significant. Now, yes, we will talk about a lot in this video, but ultimately we are going to get down to business on how much graph do you actually need to become a millionaire by the next major cycle run. Now, again, next major cycle run, we're, we're talking possibly 2020, uh, 2024 to 2025. If you follow the five year cycle, that's a lot sooner. Again, it doesn't really matter. All we are looking at is how much graph do you need to become a millionaire? So. Let's dive into a few things. So as we do look at the graph protocol, they continue to expand rapidly. Um, every single day, we do see another player tied to the graph through its overall infrastructure. And this has been, you know, something that I've been following for a while. Here's another one, as you guys do see. And all of these are subgraphs. Now, as we do look at the graph, there's over 816 subgraphs. And I've been following this quite some time now and uh, the network has been expanding rapidly and you can look through this and you could find a ton of players I mean like listen this says polygon curve every single major project out there that you know of is probably tied to the graph uh, to me personally I think that the graph is going to be a crucial piece of the puzzle for the web3 economy um, and if you do believe in web3 and the future of crypto well then guess what the graph is a perfect player to have in your portfolio i think that this is a staple piece in my portfolio at this point and it's probably going to continue to be one um very similar to like even matic right if you believe in matic um or any other project out there then it will be a staple point in your uh, portfolio for the long term and that's exactly what the graph is to me as we look at this, this is decentralized data for the Web3 economy. And I think that this is only going to continue to grow and grow and grow as the supported networks have grown for well over the last two years. And also the graph network becomes more and more utilized every single day. And the product suit is very significant. I mean, you have the subgraph, you have the graph explorer, and then you also have the hosted service. All three of these allow the web3 economy to become more and more decentralized which i personally think is the key motive behind the web3 anyways to completely disconnect from the centralized entities that rule the web today so as we do look at decentralized data i believe that the graph is becoming a key player and it's the number one reason why the graph got its it's the google of crypto um motto since 2021 now, let's look at the network itself as we do look at the network itself. Currently speaking, I think the last time that I actually looked at it, it had roughly a 6% year over year inflation rate to the graph. Um, you could personally right now stake the graph and actually um, beat the inflation rate on it. Um, but as we do look at graph itself, I don't think that the tokenomics are that bad. I think initially on, yes, it was pretty rough and we, we will talk about that. Um, but as we do look at the token supply currently, about 1.9 billion of uh, these tokens are locked away being staked and earning right now. Currently, you can see the rewards, you can see the quarry fees, see everything around this. Um, but as we do look at this, this is a significant amount staked already. Um, and I do think that this will continue to, um, you know, grow in numbers. Currently speaking, as we do look at the token supply, it's sitting at about roughly 10.65 billion. You could see how much was minted and you could also see how much was burned. So far, there's only been 25.2 million graph burned, um, but I could see this possibly uh, rising more and more as we do see more and more burn, um, you know, mechanisms implemented within the graph, which again, is that a possibility? We have no idea yet. There hasn't really been any plans on that just at this current moment in time, but I could see that becoming a reality at some point. Now, as we do look at this, um, there is going to be a lot more subgraphs added to the graph. They have been doing a lot of events around this on, you know, bringing more and more players onto the graph, which I think is very exciting. 
Um, as we also look at a few things around the graph, they recently did a network overview of everything around the graph and what's been happening. Um, the graph token itself is the main utility token utilized within the network. You can see the benefits of the graph as well versus self-hosting, why you should use the graph network, for example. 60 to 98% lower monthly cost, zero, $0 infrastructure setup cost, superior uptime, access to 438 indexers and counting, 24 seven technical support by global community. You can also see the benefits down here. Again, as we do look at what's been happening around uh, the graph and as we do look at the adoption, I only believe that it's going to continue to grow from here on out. Um, it's been one of those projects that I just feel very, very confident about having it in my portfolio for the long term. Again, I know that a lot of people look at the supply and they get scared off or even they look at the, you know, inflation rate on some of these tokens and they get scared off. But as we do look at the graph and as it does continue to expand rapidly, I do think that the token supply is totally fine. It's the same thing with uh, Casper or even Hedera. Um, I think that at some point in time when Web3 is so much bigger than it is today, some of these tokens like the graph are going to increase extremely in ROI um, especially in terms of just the value behind it and we could also see that if you want it to um, become an indexer on the network it would be a hundred K graph currently speaking I think that might be like thirteen thousand um, dollars but there is quite a bit of revenue streams for anyone that did want to become an indexer you can see the quarry fee rebates as well as the indexing rewards so this is something to look into if you have the amount of money to do so. Um, and uh, yeah, it does fully break everything down around this. If you guys did want to learn more about becoming an indexer on the network, I currently am not. Um, I'm actually just staking my graph right now on the graph protocol. Now, let's take a look at a few things because it's not as easy as, hey, well, I think that the graph could go back to its all time high we need to look at how much the token has changed since 2021. So here we have the graph. Now this was not the all time high. Uh, if we actually go back over here to the graph, we can see that the all time high was roughly about $2 and 34 cents. But the big thing is, and what actually changed, and let me actually duplicate uh, this tab here. As we do look at the graph back here, it had only 1.2 uh, billion supply at that time. That's a very significant change in supply because today's supply is sitting just under circulating, by the way, eight point. It's almost like nine billion tokens. Uh, so that's a significant change in supply. And we do see that the total supply is about sitting at ten point six billion uh, fully diluted market cap of about roughly one point two billion dollars. And if we look back here, the market cap at near all time highs was sitting at about two point seven billion. So almost a two X. It's a significant change. If we actually go off of the uh, supply here, so let's actually change the supply here. If we change the supply to the 1.2 uh, billion and we go off of the market cap today, which was one point, uh, it, we're just gonna go off of the fully diluted. Um, the price of graph right now would be about 99 cents. It's a very big difference from the 12 cents that it is currently trading at, or if you will say 11 and a half cents almost. Um, it's a very large change in scenery. As we do look at this though, I don't believe that that is going to be a big problem for us getting back to some of those key levels. We actually go off of the total supply today um, and we look at a few areas of opportunity. I could see this going significantly higher. Um, I could see it 10 xing from here at least. Um, which if you will look at that, that's about a dollar twenty per graph. Uh, at that point, you would need a significant amount of graph to become a millionaire. You would need almost roughly um, a million uh, graph, which is not easy to come by at today's prices. Um, you would need about roughly eight hundred and thirty three thousand three hundred and thirty three. Uh, graph and if we go back to the price of the graph so it's 11 and almost like a half cents or so um, that's roughly ninety six thousand five hundred and eighty three dollars that you would need uh, to pay out for the graph um, but again if you are like me and believe that it will go much higher in valuation then you're looking at more so of these prices over here so 
<clears throat> excuse me. I'm actually going off of uh, the circulating supply over here, and I'm looking at the overall market cap 10xing uh, from its all-time highs back in 2021. The reason for this is that during 2021, yes, it did have a very early run due to listings, um, but there was not a lot of substance on the actual network itself. Today, we actually have a lot of substance. It is on major exchanges like Binance, Coinbase, Qcoin, etc. Um, and with that, I could see this if it does catch a lot of hype and a lot of momentum. I think that it could go to $27 billion in market cap, which would be about roughly $3. And I'm just going to go off of $3 itself as it does make the math a lot easier. That would be about roughly 333,333. ,333. And at today's price, that's roughly about $38,633, which is significantly lower compared to the original almost $100,000 that you would need. But as we do look at Web3 and the projected value of Web3, and if we are looking at the graph as being the major player around decentralized data, as they have been indexing for a lot of major networks and also projects out there going all the way back over here to the uh, Graph Explorer. I mean, these are very, very large um, projects that are tied to the graph. And I only think that this is going to continue to grow from here on out. Um, then you could ultimately look at the market cap being around roughly 50 to almost 100 billion dollars and again like a 50 billion dollar market cap is not that significant when things really start to change is the graph wor worth uh, 50 billion dollars though that's what you really need to question and uh, if it can reach 50 billion dollars long term i believe that this is possible uh the question is how long are you willing to wait this is again why i believe that the graph is a significant staple point in my portfolio because i actually believe that this could go to a hundred billion dollars at some point in time which would be almost a 100x opportunity run it would be sitting at about roughly 11 dollars inflation yes will change this um, but I do think that the valuations could change rapidly when things do change rapidly around the Web3 space. Um, but going off of the 50 billion um, market cap for the graph, um, I believe that $5.58 is where you will mostly be very, very likely to be able to buy this token um, and sustain those levels because you would only need 179,000 uh, graph, which at today's, again, price is roughly about like $20,746. Now, I would say the best way to do this and the best way to actually accumulate a lot of these tokens is by simply diversifying your portfolio um, and when you make significant gains before save or so the graph does run up uh, you kind of just trickle in some of those profits into the graph um, which is a lot easier than just investing you know a massive twenty thousand plus dollars into just one project i always say with those prices you could diversify five thousand dollars into a few projects and you know a 10x does happen often in this market but even if you do hit like we'll say a two three four five x on five thousand dollars that is a significant amount of money and when you reinvest that into something that is still kind of just going sideways uh usually you want to make sure that you are investing into something that is solid it has utility it is a very valuable project and if it's going sideways like this it's actually usually a good time to jump in before a big move happens and usually what we do see is lagging assets in this space meaning there's going to be assets that run before other ones graph was actually one that ran before a lot of other projects i was able to profit out of this and put it into something else i think at that time i put it into h bar i want to say um, and I did make some nice profits off of that as well. Um, but as we do look at a lot of these projects, like, you know, do I think that graph is going to make the, you know, typical individual a million dollars? No, because the typical individual doesn't have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, a hundred thousand dollars to invest in. Um, but recently on some of those nice lows that we've seen, uh, all year, and I mean, going all the way back to like November um, up until like December, you know, these were great times to jump in because at this point, like $5,000 could have got you a hundred thousand, um, you know, graph or, or I should say like roughly almost $6,000, which I know $6,000 again, not easy to come by, 
um but you know for the most part like it's a lot it's a lot different of a story to you know be able to buy into a token at five and a half cents and get a hundred thousand then at you know eleven and a half cents or twelve and a half cents but we also did have a significant amount of time uh from may all the way up until around roughly you know february we were kind of going sideways or a little bit down sideways um, and even today now, we're still kind of just sitting at around 12 cents. And I think that 12 cents is still a nice bargain area for something like the graph that, you know, again, if you believe in the vision of Web3, then you believe in what the graph is doing for the Web3 economy. A lot of these pr uh, projects, you know, uh, they look at the supply, like go look at Polygon, right? Polygon still today sitting at about roughly eight and a half billion dollars in uh, market cap has a very similar supply. In fact, it actually has more circulating supply than the graph. I know that it doesn't have the inflation mechanism tied to it like the graph, but I still believe that, you know, if we look at some of these projects and we look at their all-time highs, we look at the market cap of some of these, you know, projects like even the Dogecoin hitting almost $100 billion, I believe that, you know, the graph is a lot more valuable than something like that. And, you know, if this does shock a lot of people going to like 90 plus billion dollars in the next run up, like this could very well be a lot lower in the amount that you would need to become a millionaire off the graph. But I always say, you know, if you're going to hold out for an 85x without taking profit, that's just wild to me. You got to make sure that you are taking profit along the way. I always say if you 2x or, you know, if you double your valuation, whatever you put in and you don't take that initial investment out, it's just ridiculous. So make sure that you are taking profits along the way. Make sure that you are diversifying your um, investments. And uh, with that being said, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, definitely leave a like, subscribe, turn notifications on if you guys have more free content. You guys are more than welcome to follow me on Twitter and join the free Discord in the description below. Uh, so I hope that you all have a beautiful day or a beautiful night. Wherever you guys are on this beautiful world, this has been Nick. Peace out, guys.